I did have one female in particular. I'm not focusing on anything extracurricular, like any of my hobbies. I left it in the sun, it got faded. I can't do it every day, guys. I can't ride, I can't do this every day. I gotta edit, I gotta shoot. Gotta... What's up, McDonald's? Y'all got anything vegan? I stay being out here with the Houthis, right? What the heck? Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? Happy to have you back on the channel. Listen, before we get into the nitty gritty and the fun part about today's vlog, I wanna touch base on happy birthday, Natalie. Happy birthday to my cousin, listen. Happy birthday, you're old fart now. You're getting old. Quick happy birthday shout out to the cuzzo, Natalie. And I gotta give a special, special shout out for May 22nd, 2018 to a very special woman. I know I said something like, uh, that sounded a little sad. It sounded like I didn't have any, any women figures in my life. Even though I didn't have a close woman figure in my life, I did have one female in particular. Her name is Tita. Hey, happy birthday, Tita. Happy birthday, Tita. You're probably not going to watch this either because, you know, you're old and I don't even think you know English. You know, me and you have communicated our whole entire lives. You have been like a grandmom slash mom slash you've been the female figure in my life. And I'm sorry that I forgot to, you know, mention you, but your birthday is May 22nd. You're a very special person. You've been like a mom to my pop. You know, you've been like a grandmom and a mom to me. Um, when I was a kid growing up, you always brought food. You always, for every holiday, you always remember me. You always came, you know, knocked on the door. You brought me cards. You brought me gifts. You brought me a variety of things ever since I was a little boy. We still see each other in public, and you still tell people that I'm your grandson. You be like, he my grandson. Hey, he my grandson. I see him since he was a little baby, little baby. She said, she seen me since I was this small. <laughs> but yeah, yo, listen. She's a strong woman. She's taking care of not only her family and all the neighbors in the community, she's taking care of me too growing up, you know? P periodically, she was always in the picture and she played a role. She didn't live with us. She's not my blood relative, but you don't gotta be connected by blood to be related. She's a very special person. Happy birthday, Dita. Happy birthday. You're the grandma I needed in my life. Woo! -hoo! Happy birthday and thank you for everything you've done for me and for my family. You are my family. All right, guys, now that I got that out the way, I want to talk about some fun stuff. Come on, you guys tired of seeing me, right? Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm sure y'all wonder why I got these on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know these go to the beast mode. I'm I'm sorry, people. I'm not bringing out the beast mode today. But listen, let me have a quick discussion with you guys who don't know or who may be just tuning into my channel a little late and don't know, like, my mindset. Um, as of right now, I'm not focusing on anything extracurricular, like any of my hobbies or interests growing up, like dirt bikes, you know, motorcycles, cars, even my cars. I'm a big car guy, et cetera, et cetera, RC cars, anything that just passes time, like hobby related. I just put down to the side because I'm really focused on my ultimate goal or one of my ultimate goals, which is my business field, you know, my, my video production business, you know, I'm primarily focused on that and that's why i would like to dedicate all my time to so the past couple years i haven't really been focused on my toys i got rid of a lot of motor uh motorized vehicles i used to have from like scooters to to go-karts to dirt bikes i had a bunch of things and i got rid of them guys that takes time away from me doing video me doing film related projects and i have very limited limited time as it is um so with that being said I still have one of the toys, you know, one of the little, the meet me, um, nothing major, but it's a two stroke, it's 50 cc, you know, it's piped out, you know, got the racing rollers and everything. I had this sitting guys for about three years almost. It's a 2014, um, I got a new from the dealer. It was zero miles um, and it was brand new, yo. And I only put, let me see, let me see. Look at that, not even 2000 miles on it. The breaking period was 500 miles. And I put damn near almost 2,000 miles on it, a little under it. And this is the scooter, y'all. This John chilling. I mean, it's a name brand John. You know, you can Google that company. That's that's a respected, reputable company. You know, has plenty of aftermarket parts or whatnot. Uh, when I first got it, you know, they came with a stock, you know, pipes. But I had this one put on. This is actually a racing pipe. You see? You guys see that? Yeah, I know y'all know that brand from the Banshees, right? 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 This is a really good pipe, y'all. You can't even see the stamp right here but it's a really good pipe. And it was actually burnt, you know, that burnt metal, that rainbow metal, it was all burnt. Oh snap, no face reveal, oh man. All right, <laughs> so it was all burnt metal. Um, and it looked nice, like that rainbow look, but the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because uh, my initial story in the beginning, like me not paying attention to any of my, my hobbies, well, I let this rock, guys. I kind of let it deteriorate. Considering that it was brand new, 
um, and I'm the first owner. Like I left it in the sun, it got faded. Like I said, it's been sitting for three years. I actually just turned it on about a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. Yeah, but I turned it on about a week ago, y'all. But it's been sitting and it's been getting weather damage. It's actually super dirty right now, super dusty. It hasn't been cleaned in a very long time. So what I'm gonna do today, guys, is guess what? I'm gonna try to give some of my viewers what they want. I had a viewer the other day say, yo, 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 dude, what's up with the bike life? What's up with the go-kart videos? And what's up with all that stuff, like the fun stuff? And I know you guys want fun activities and stuff, but in my particular field or a trade, you know what I mean? Um, you know, every second counts, guys, every second counts. So I put this down to the side, but I'm like, you know what? I could probably use this as a business tool, right? Check this out, you see my little savior lighter? Ah, we gonna have to work on this joint, y'all. We gonna have to work on this joint. Y'all gonna see this on the channel. Y'all gonna see me bring this back to life. It's been sitting, it's been sitting. Little, little, you know what I mean? Little workhorse. But what we gonna do is we gonna put this to work. You, you know why? Because what I can do with this is I can record bike videos. I can actually, you know, periodically, maybe once, twice a month, um, pull out with the pack or something, or my friends, any of my close friends that ride and wanna catch some willy footage. Even the five minutes of fame, the kids on the bicycles, I can actually use this John, you know what I mean? Just to get ahead of them and not need a driver and whatnot. Um, shout out to Hovito from New York. He's one of the first dudes that I've seen use a Zuma, you know, two, two stroke scooter. What you have, bro? Two stroke, right? Anyway, he had a two stroker and I think his drone was going like 70 miles an hour. Um, so I gotta clean this joint up, y'all. I gotta clean this up, but this is just the beginning. I figured I'd introduce it uh, on the vlog. I'm sad to see like little spots, like little rust right here. Little, it's like calcified from like sitting or whatever. But I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna arm all it up, I'm gonna shine it up. This bad boy's gonna come back to life. And we're gonna start using this. You know, I can't do it every day, guys. I can't ride, I can't do this every day. I gotta edit, I gotta shoot, I got music videos. I'm still trying to make a living, so I'm still trying to book, etc., etc., and work on personal projects. But I will take y'all. Um, advice into consideration and try to add you know an entertaining aspect to the channel and follow bikes around a day or two and, and I'll possibly even order a stock can for you know my go-kart one of my go-karts so I can ride the go-kart back with y'all and show y'all what it's hitting for you know what I mean so y'all can see the go-kart in action y'all can see this in action I'm sorry guys I ain't got no high boosters Harleys you know supermotos and none of that right now right now but if you want to mail me a supermoto watch me ride that John <laughs> I ride this John on the channel for you. You want to mail me a Harley? Watch me ride that John. I ride it on the channel for you. But meantime, y'all, let's get busy. I need a spark plug. I need to clean it. I need to do so much. I need brakes. I think in the next week or two, y'all going to see me do a couple updates to this John because we need to get it running, vato. You see this right here? It's a turn signal. This isn't the first turn signal. That's the second turn signal. And guess who broke both of them? Not me. That's who broke both of them, not me. One was Mother Nature, one was my dog. Check it out. This one was Mother Nature. Like two years ago, during a winter storm, the wind and the snow blew over the whole entire scooter. Yup, and it tipped over and broke the light, right? So rather than repairing it and still using it, because you see it's still pretty whole, except the mount broke. You see it right here? I just ordered another one. I got another one, brand new, and guess what? This one was perfectly fine, brand new, until guess who decided to tip over the scooter? Miss Newsy right here. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. She decided to tip over the scooter. She jumped off the car, onto the scooter, and timber, the scooter went down and broke. Yep. So guess what? I either A, got to get another one, or B, just glue this joint up. I might just hot glue gun it. Just do a little ghetto rig for the meantime. They're like 35, 40 bucks for the turn signal, but it just sucks, right? What I told y'all, ghetto rigging, right? I told y'all I was gonna ghetto rig this. I only got a little bit too, a little bit of hot glue, you see it? But I managed to like, try to do my best to have it in there secure, check it out. I mean, the vibration might knock it out, for real, for real, from like riding, the actual vibration. I mean, I don't think it vibrates that much, but yeah, so I guess that's all right for, for now, at least until I get another one. I know some people take off the whole signal, like they don't even care, like the people who do stunts on them, they just take off the signals, but it's cool. I like my signals, they're amber, they kind of match my car. I definitely need brakes, aside from a good cleaning, I need brakes. Those brakes are done. This thing is dirty, you see that gas tank, dirty. It needs a tune-up ASAP. 
Yeah, I need to get a spark plug and oil and all that stuff. It's been sitting forever, but... We're about to head to the little car wash. Perfect time to be a vlogger. What's up, McDonald's? Y'all got anything vegan? Perfect time to be a vlogger. Check this whip out. Check this whip out. Check this whip out. This is pretty. This joint nice. Where you at, Rue? Where you at, Jay? I'm on y'all block, man. I'm on y'all block. Where, where y'all at? I know y'all run Broad Street, right? I'm out here, yo. It's a nice day, right? All right, backpack squad. Y'all see me, y'all see me. I'm out here with the hoopty. Y'all see me? I stay being out here with the hoopties, right? Y'all see that, John, though? Hunter Green, yeah, you already know. It's that birthstone. Yeah, so I gotta clean this, John. I'm about to go see if I can turn on the pressure washer. Y'all see I got the pressure washer. I got the scrub brush somewhere around here. No face reveal. Yeah, I got the scrub brush, you know what I mean? So I'm about to go put some bread in and I'm gonna clean it up because it's looking extra dirty, yo. y'all so she all cleaned up i mean it's presentable for the most part it'd be nice to put some armor on the tires but it's looking a lot better than it did i would love to hit that pipe with like a brillo pad so that you can see the stamp again you can even see the stamp there's a stamp under there but for the most part it's looking good it's actually on right now you know what i mean so we out here y'all 